Hey there, boils and ghouls. It's your friend Taryn Tass. I'm back with a new video. Yeah, I got a really fun uh, 4K that just came out from Screen Factory today that I'd like to review. And you already know what it is by the title. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Um, real quick, if you could just give me a minute. I know I do this all the time, but you know, just give me a minute real quick. I just like to uh, show off a couple of other little pickups that I got in today, and I'm really happy. So, yeah. Um, just released today from the Vestron Collection Collector Series, we have the Silent Night Deadly Night Collection with Parts 3, 4, and 5. Part 3, Better Watch Out. Part 4, Initiation. And Part 5, The Toy Maker. So, got this for a really good deal. Altogether, this is only $19 for three movies on Blu-ray. I mean, come on, that's not a bad deal. Um, I have heard rumors, though, that, um, I have to admit, I have heard rumors that uh, Vestron, they're talking about maybe dipping their toe into the 4K pond, and I'm not sure what, if they do, I'm not sure what movie they would start with. I don't know if they would, you know, do something, you know, like, like okay, in the rumor mill, like right now, they're talking about doing the uh, 1980s movie Trick or Treat with, you know, that has the cameo by um, Gene Simmons and Ozzy Osbourne. Like, I don't know if they might start with something like that, or they might be like, well, we're going to go back kind of like to the beginning and, and do, you know, like, you know, movies on our back catalog. Like, we'll start with something like uh, Chopping Mall or, you know, uh, Return of the Living Dead 3 or something. That I actually wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind getting at least the first three Return of the Living Dead movies on uh, 4K. That'd be kind of cool. But as far as, like, this goes, um, I have to admit, it's like, I'm not sure I'd... You know, this here got three movies under $20. It's really a good deal. High definition. Um, not going to lie, though. Okay, yeah, you do get the digital code, but you might have some trouble with it. God knows I did. Uh, so, yeah, so that's something to be aware of. It's like, yeah, you may have a little trouble redeeming that digital code, but here we go. Um, and then also, too, you got a number of bonus features on there. Just leave it like that for a second. Hopefully you can read that. You can always pause it. But anyway, so, yeah, uh, not really a whole lot of, I'm going to be honest with you, though, not really a whole lot of thought went into the, you know, the uh, art design and everything. You can see the cover art is the same as the slip cover, and you can see the disc art is the same, too. So, yeah. But any, that's the only way you can tell the difference, you know, three, four, five, so. But anyway, so yeah, got that in today, and uh, it's nice. It's really nice. You know, I did have the uh, DVD three pack, but it's nice to upgrade. So now I have, pretty much, I have all the Silent Night, Deadly Night movies on Blu-ray now. So, so yeah, I'm I'm not gonna be too surprised if by this time next year, you know, we'll get like you know the original Silent Night, Deadly Night's gonna make its 4K debut or something like that, or who knows, maybe both one and two. We shall see, but only time will tell. But in the meanwhile, nice to have them all on Blu-ray at least. Got this in today. I haven't had a chance to check any of it out yet, but I'm looking forward to it. We have season three of Creep Show. It's really cool that emboss slipcover there. Oh. So yeah, really looking forward to checking this out. I haven't had a chance to watch any of it yet. You know, so far the Creep Show series has been really good. Season one and two have been really, really good. And just I will say the only thing that's kind of disappointing is like uh, you know, I mean, when you think of Creep Show, you think George Romero, Stephen King, and it's kind of like, man, it is a little sad that even though Joe Hill has, you know, one or two stories on here, uh, it really is kind of sad. We don't have a King adaptation on this one like we did, you know, in the first two seasons. So, oh well. But anyway, still, really good show, and I can't wait to check out season three, watch it, have a good time. So, there we go. This here, oh man, it's nice to get this. This is definitely an upgrade from my DVD. We have The Mutant, or The, the Mutant Chronicles. That's a different movie. The Martian Chronicles. Ray, Bradbury, Ray Bradbury's sci-fi classic. Look at that, almost five hours, dude. Was it 290? Yeah, 293 minutes. Wow. So, but still, nice to get, a, you know, get a nice upgrade on this and everything. So, yeah. You know, I always like Ray Matt or Ray Bradbury as a getting everything mixed up here. Ray Bradbury, I always liked him as an author. Read a lot of his books and stuff. You know, and grew up watching, you know, Something Wicked This Way Comes and and you know, uh, uh, Halloween Tree and 
you know, Ray Bradbury Theater and stuff like that. So always been a Ray Bradbury fan. And, you know, the late, great Richard Matheson, too, did the adaptation of this. So, yeah. So really nice to get this upgraded from DVD to Blu-ray. So that's cool. And last, uh, got this here. This is the Reefer Madness Special Addiction. And uh, in color for the first time and everything. But really the main reason I wanted this is because it has the uh, commentary by Mike Nelson from Mystery Science Theater. So it's pretty funny. It's a good commentary. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, so that's it. All right. So as always, the first five minutes, you own know, what I've already got. But anyway, thank you for that. Now let's get on to the main attraction, as it were. Okay, today uh, we got uh, released from Scream Factory, the 1976 version of Stephen King's Carrie on 4K. And wow, this is this is a really nice edition. As you can see, I went for the steel book. There is just the regular Amore case, but you guys know me. I tend to like my steel books. But uh, I mean, as far as the movie goes, I mean, it's Carrie. What can I say about this movie that hasn't been said already? I mean, it's a classic, you know, Brian De Palma masterpiece. This has been a good year for Brian De Palma movie is coming out on 4K, man. I mean, you know, we got Carrie, we got Dressed to Kill, Blowout came out a while back, uh, was it Untouchables, things like that. So, yeah, it's actually been a pretty pretty snazzy year for Brian De Palma movies on 4K. So, it's nice to, you know, end it off with Carrie on 4K. Sounds good to me. But, uh, you know, classic movie, um, you know, the, you know, the, you know, based off the, you know, the very first published novel by Stephen King, what got his career going and everything else. Um, you know, a lot of good talent ended up, you know, kind of making a big debut. Sissy Spacek, like she had been in some stuff before, but, you know, kind of like Carrie made Sissy Spacek a household name and, and Piper Laurie and, you know, and the fact both of them would go on to win Oscars or not win Oscars, but were nominated for Oscars, <clears throat> excuse me, for this movie. Sorry, they didn't win, they were nominated. But, I mean, that's that was kind of cool. I mean, back in the 1970s, you know, being nominated, you know, you know, Sissy Spacek for Best Actress, Piper Laurie, Best Supporting Actress, for a horror film. You know, it was like back in the 1970s, that never really ever happened, you know. And to this day, they still, it's very, very rare, like, horror movies ever get, you know, any kind of, like, Oscar, you know, notoriety or nomination or anything like that. Um, the movie that kind of really made everybody pay attention to John Travolta decades before Pulp Fiction ever came around, you know. But, uh, yeah, you know, it was like, you know, pre-Halloween PJ Souls. And funny enough, I just, the other day, I watched the Rift Tracks version of Boy in the Plastic Bubble. I didn't know that, I knew John Travolta was in the movie. I didn't know PJ Souls was in the movie as well. So, interesting. You know, I was like, wow, interesting how all this works. But anyway, so, yeah, just, I mean, a lot of, just a lot of really good stuff and classic film. My ex-girlfriend, she prefers the uh, 2001 uh, TV remake. That's her preferred version, mainly because it was closer to the book. And uh, I don't mind that version. First time I saw it, I hated it. But, you know, it, it kind of warmed up to it a little bit. But, you know, but yeah, to me, I grew up watching this movie. And I have read the book. The book is amazing and really amazing. If you ever get a chance, listen to the audio book where Sissy Spacek reads it. You know, it sounds amazing when you hear her voice reading it to you. It's awesome. But, um, yeah, so anyway, so there we go. There's a the front. I have to admit, looking at it online, I wasn't really crazy about the, um, you know, I wasn't really crazy about the design for the steel book. But looking at it now, holding it in my hand, it's kind of like it's a lot better. And then, t there you go. And you got the whole, you know, prom scene on the back there. So, so we got the inside here. Got some nice disc art, and there's the 4K, obviously. There's the movie on Blu-ray. Real quick, get ready to take these out so I can show you. And there's the special features disc, so you can see that. Yeah, really nice disc art on these. So, and then we got some... Whoop! Hang on, hang on, don't fall! Oh, damn it. Almost lost it there. We got some inside cover art on the... Uh, Steel book here. No. The part where after the whole thing at the prom, you know, and Carrie's, you know, Carrie's mom is waiting for her to do her in. So, but anyway, yeah, really, really nice presentation. I'm happy with it. Um, now time to get to the meat and potatoes of it. Like, how does, 
Now, we got the uh, 4K, rest. well, you know, this movie had been 4K restored years ago when Screen Factory put out their two-disc uh, special edition. I will say this definitely feels like an improvement over it. Um, I can remember watching it when I first got it, and, you know, just remember the picture was really, really, really grainy. You know, they just, wow. And I think with the 4K, I think they really managed to, you know, um, really find a nice balance between, you know, the grain level and, you know, the look of the, you know, I think some people who probably look at the old, um, who look at the old Blu-ray are probably going to think that they kind of polished this up a little bit too much, but um, I don't think so. I think they found like a really nice balance between, you know, just, you know, the grain level of the picture and keeping it, you know, having it look, you know, really nice and presentable. Um, at first, this is going to be a movie I own it. Personally, I think this is going to be a movie, like, when you start watching it, you're going to be like, uh, I'm not really sure this was a movie I really needed in 4K and all that. But as the movie goes on, you know, it's like the 4K and the HDR really does flex its muscles. Uh, especially, like, when you get to scenes like the uh, the scene between Carrie and her mom where they're sitting at the dinner table and they got the big, you know, like, um, kind of like a velvet, like, curtain or whatever it is of the last supper and they're arguing about carrie going to the prom and it's like wow you know the picture quality really looks good there and then of course once you get to the prom it starts to really really look good and then boom when you get to the prom massacre and stuff like that yeah that's when the 4k really does its work you know the and then you're gonna be like when you get around to like the later scenes of the movie basically is what i'm saying is like when you get around to those parts you're gonna feel like yeah this was worth it. It was worth, you know, you know, dipping on this again. So, but yeah, anyway, anyway, yeah, just the picture quality is good. The sound quality, you know, is pretty decent. It's, you know, Master 5.1 audio. Um, you know, you do get the Dolby Vision. Um, but, you know, the sound is adequate and stuff. Um, I didn't have any problems, you know, as far as, like, being able to hear any of the dialogue or any of that kind of stuff. One thing that definitely comes clear, though, is comes through loud and clear is Pino Danaggio's excellent score. And I'm not complaining about that because... I have the soundtrack. The the score of Pino Danaggio did is amazing. But uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, the dialogue is nice. You know, um, yeah, the sound mix is pretty good. It's easy to hear, you know. I mean, of course, you got a sound system. It's going to sound much better. But, you know, even just, you know, listening to it on your regular speakers, like, you should come in pretty fairly decently. So, but anyway, so, uh, yeah, I definitely recommend this upgrade. And uh, the picture quality is nice. The sound quality is nice, um, you know. And then we got the uh, J card here, which, go ahead and, okay, so like, you know, it's a three disc set, which you obviously just saw. Disc one is the uh, new 2022 4K scan of the original camera negative. Um, disc two is, you know, same thing, 2022 new 4K scan of the original camera negative, but it has the tra the carry trailer gallery. Then, of course, we get to disc three, which there's really no, they didn't like produce any new bonus features or anything they just pretty much imported what was already there so you know writing carrie interview with screenwriter lawrence d cohen shooting carrie interview with director of photography mario tosi tosi sorry uh cutting carrie interview with editor paul hirsch casting carrie interview with casting director um harriet b helberg acting carrie interviews with actor sissy spacek amy irving betty buckley nancy allen william Catt. Piper Laurie, Priscilla Pointer, and PJ Souls, art director Jack Fisk, and director producer Brian De Palma. More acting carry interviews with actors William Catt, Nancy Allen, Betty Buckley, Piper Laurie, Edie McClurg, and PJ Souls. Bucket of Blood interview with um, let's see, wait a minute, I lost myself. Interview with the Maestro Pino Danaggio, Horrors Hollow Grounds, revisiting the film's original locations. Those are always fun when they put those on there. Um, Let's see. All right. Lost myself again. Uh, visualizing Carrie interviews with Brian De Palma, Jack Fisk, Lawrence D. Cohen, and Paul Hirsch. A look at Carrie, the musical, TV spots, radio spots, still galleries, rare behind the scenes, photos, posters, and lobby cards, Stephen King and the evolution of Carrie, and photo gallery. So, yeah, not really anything new in terms of um, bonus features or anything like that. But uh, overall, like, this is a really nice addition, and I'm really glad I got it. And uh, this is it. You know, I think, honestly, this is, they did a really nice, solid job with the transfer. Um, I honestly can't really see anybody doing a better job than this. Um, it's possible, but 
honestly, I really think this is about as good as we're going to get. This is probably about as good as this movie is ever going to look. So, yeah, so if you're a fan, I definitely recommend uh, picking up Carry On 4K. And I'm glad to have it. And, you know, but, uh, yeah. So, anyway, so that's going to do it. So, if anybody took the time to watch this, I thank you for doing it. And I appreciate you for doing it. I honestly hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, would you please leave it a like? And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, you know, it's like, yeah, it's going to be kind of a little bit, you know, kind of a little bit dead for the next week or so. But, you know, as we get to the end of December, it's like things should start picking up. And then, you know, then also, too, it's going to be wonderful to see what kind of, you know, what kind of things we got going for the new year. January looks a little kind of meh for 4Ks, but uh, hopefully, you know, things will start picking up. So uh, anyway, so uh, take care, everybody. Have a good night. I'll see you later.